For U.S. President Donald Trump, the issue is black and white, jobs versus the environment. I am taking historic steps to lift the restrictions on American energy, to reverse government intrusion, and to cancel job-killing regulations. We're going to have clean coal, really clean coal. With the stroke of the pen, Trump undid a decade or so worth of work. In the past, Trump has called climate change a hoax. Critics say by undoing former President Barack Obama's clean power plan, Trump weakens environmental regulations, opening the door to rising sea levels, more air pollution, and perhaps worst, rising global temperatures. Trump is sacrificing our future for fossil fuel prices and leaving our children to pay the price. Trump vowed to fight what he calls the war on coal by eliminating many government environmental restrictions on mining. Basically, you know what this says? You know what it says, right? You're going back to work. <laughs> You're going back to work. Telling coal miners on hand what they dearly wanted to hear, despite the fact international demand for coal is falling and automation is putting more and more miners out of work. It is unclear if the U.S. will pull out of the historic Paris Climate Agreement signed in 2015, when dozens of nations joined together in an effort to reduce harmful greenhouse gas emissions blamed for global warming. It certainly puts our country out of step with science and out of step with global opinion. I mean, after all, when more than 180 countries agree to the solution, and we're sitting there as the odd man out. Xi Jinping is making environmental protection one of the cornerstones of his presidency. In sharp contrast to the U.S., China continues to reduce its greenhouse gas emissions and has emerged as the global leader in developing alternative energy. Trump's controversial measure does one more thing. It reignites the highly charged debate on whether humans are influencing the global climate. In this case, the overwhelming answer puts Trump at odds with scientific results. Sean Cadlebs, CGTN in Washington.